you'll realize that it's never about her, right? It, sometimes it is, maybe she has terrible lady game, maybe she can't carry a conversation very well, but more often than not, it's right here. What's up, man? Patrick James here, and welcome to another episode of Raw Dating Advice. I've got a really good question that recently got submitted to us via email. I think this guy's on the email newsletter. Um, I think his name is Cresso, if I'm saying that right. Cresso, Creso. Um, but he says, I have a question, and this is about a girl, obviously. He says, can you, advise, can you advise me with a few long, and let's say, hot conversation topics? We can only chat because she lives in the other part of the country. I really chat, I rarely, really, chat with the, that girl about everything, and I never met this kind of girl in my life, and she didn't either. That, man, so many of you people do not know how to type with proper grammar, and it's really hard to read out loud. One quick tip, if you're gonna write a question or an email or a comment, if you wanna avoid looking like you're in middle school, read it out loud yourself. I do this all the time with my emails. It'll make it a lot easier, and I won't assume that you're 12 years old writing me this question, all right? And I never met this kind of a girl in my life, and she didn't either, that we can talk about every single thing and have so much in common. And we never run out of topics, but I would like to spice the things up a bit if you understand me. I understand you, Cresso. You wanna start talking about sex. You want her to be attracted to you. You guys wanna start having phone sex. I mean, that's the only reason you're following dating advice anyways, and you're asking about hot conversation topics and I totally get you and that's totally okay. I've been there before and here's what I learned. Back in the day, so I'm like 30, I recently turned 30, but back in the day, I was a 21 year old virgin. Not a lot of people know that about me. And back then, I was doing exactly what you're talking about right now. I was rarely talking about sexual topics with the girls that I liked, but I would talk to these girls all the time. The reason I did it is because back then I had no idea how to talk to girls, how to text girls, what to say to them. And so I asked my roommate who had a girlfriend, this is when I was in college, I was like 19, 20 years old. I was like, yo, you and your girlfriend recently started dating. How often should you be texting her? Because I like this girl and I want to date her, but I don't know how, I mean, I, I guess I'm texting her like once a day, once every other day. Is that a lot? And he point blank says to me, and I don't recommend this because he was a guy who has only been with one girl and that was his girlfriend. He said, well, I text my girlfriend every day, like all day, every day. And that's what he said to me. And so I said, oh, well, if I wanna make this girl my girlfriend, maybe I'll text her all day, every day. And so naturally, if you have zero game and you're texting this girl all day, every day, what are you guys gonna be talking about? What are you guys gonna be talking about over the phone? I would talk to these girls before bed for several hours. Sometimes I would go to sleep while they were still on the phone and vice versa. I thought it was this cute romantic thing that we were doing. And so just know, because I'm speaking from experience here, every girl I've ever done that with, before we, we've either had sex, before she's my girlfriend, or before we've gotten sexual at all, if I am talking to her all day, every day, uh, if I'm having hour, hours long conversations with her on the phone on a regular basis, but we're not meeting up for one reason or another, this girl lives in another part of the country, or we're just talking all day, every day, and we just don't see each other, period, or we text. I would text these girls like, good night, smiley face, um, good morning, beautiful, and so, Looking back on it, I cringe. I cringe because I've come out the other side and I'm telling you, there's only one place this leads to. And that is a dreaded friend zone, all right? 99% of men chase women. 99% of men unknowingly friend zone themselves. Because think about it. If you wanted to become friends with someone, what would you do right off the bat? What would you do? If you first met someone, what would you do with that person? Let's forget if it's male, female, man, woman, sexually attracted or not. If you wanted to be friends with them, what are you gonna do right when you meet them? You're gonna try to find commonalities. You're gonna try to find some passions that maybe you guys share. Maybe you guys are from the same town. You're gonna talk a lot. You're gonna hang out a lot, right? That's how you build a friendship. And this is what you're doing with this girl. You're talking to her all day, every day. And you're asking about hot conversation topics. You already know what the hot conversation topic is, but from your conversation, from your question you asked me, you are afraid to overtly say, we wanna talk about sex. I wanna talk about sex. I want her to be attracted to me. I want her to be hitting on me over the phone. That's not happening. And the simple fact that you are afraid to bring it up in the video or in the question that you, that you asked me, um, you never said the word sex, attraction, anything like that. You said hot 
conversation topics tells me that you are likely afraid to talk about sex with women. And that's totally understandable. That's totally fine. Back in the day when I was getting friend zoned by every girl I ever liked and getting friend zoned by the girls that I was talking to every single day and texting all day every day like you're doing with this girl that you never meet up with. And that's the thing. I was also seeing these girls in person, but we never got that sexual. Why is it? Because I was afraid to talk about sex with him. I was uncomfortable about the topic of sex. And this is a big paradigm shift because in game or in you improving your game, a lot of times what's gonna, what, what you'll realize if you really uh, kind of psychoanalyze yourself and you understand from an outside perspective like I currently have on your situation, you'll realize that it's never about her. Right, it, sometimes it is. Maybe she has terrible lady game. Maybe she can't carry a conversation very well. But more often than not, it's right here. So if you're uncomfortable, uncomfortable with the topic of sex, here's my challenge to you. Just bring it up nonchalantly because she's following your lead. You're the man here. And if she's following your lead, then she's gonna follow your lead on how comfortable you are with the topic of sex. And if you are comfortable talking about the topic of sex, then you also have to be comfortable, just as comfortable, T changing the topic away from sex. If you can talk about sex like it's pizza, like it's anything, then that's where the magic happens because now you're talking about things that spark a little bit of tension, gets her thinking about sex with you potentially because you're the one bringing up topics of sex. So here's what I mean. A couple years ago when I was still single and I was heavily going out and before COVID, before quarantine shut down, I actually was in Kansas City, Missouri. I was at a bar. That's where I'm from, Kansas City, Missouri. I was back in town visiting from Arizona where I currently live, where I currently have raw dating advice, H HQ set up and literally I met this girl and I invited her into my friend circle and it was like 1.30 in the morning. We're sitting at a table drinking at this bar, playing drinking games and we start playing Never Have I Ever. So this is just a little, a little bit of conversation and now she's in a group, my group of friends and she doesn't know if, who's the leader, what this, the status level's here and honestly it doesn't even matter. I was the one who started the conversation with her. I was the one who invited her to come drink with us, right? At least have one drink. And so we're sitting there and I'm like, Let's play Never Have I Ever. And if you've never played have, Never Have I Ever, then you, I would recommend playing Never Have I Ever because it's a really good way to bring up the topic of sex in a way that everybody's comfortable with, in a way that doesn't seem try hard, and it also helps you get comfortable with talking about sex like it's no big deal. And I'll, again, don't stay on the topic like a guy who's never had it before, even if you've never had it before. It's like if you make a three-pointer in basketball, you're not gonna celebrate like you just hit the game winner of the fucking NBA championship. Act like you've been there before, dude, because that's gonna imply a lot of positive things about you, right? Versus if you act, get all giddy and excited, oh my God, sex, ooh, and then you wanna talk about it nonstop, that shows someone who has zero experience, which is actually kind of repelling, right? So, bring up Never Have I Ever, and just simply, just simply, um, be the first one to bring up a sexual never have I ever because a lot of times people will start that game and they might go never have I ever been to Europe never have I ever had uh, a shrimp cocktail you know whatever the people fuck people want to say I rem literally remember 1 30 in the morning I'm about go time and I I'm comfortable with the topic of sex I'm about as comfortable as you could be talking about sex I'm a dating coach and I have a YouTube channel about dating advice and getting laid so obviously right and so I go never have I ever had anal instantly I took it there but it's also kind of so shocking in the moment that it's kind of funny she starts laughing she starts giving me those eyeballs that says hey I kind of want to think about having sex with this guy even if it's never anal I, I have no intention to ever do anal buttholes disgust me I wanna puke even thinking about it. But that is one of the many ways that you could bring up sex. But again, next time it's your turn to say never have I ever, you make it something mundane, something boring. Now you've brought up sex and you've also taken away the topic of sex. And so that's what I would recommend for you, bringing up the topic of sex into a conversation, spicing it up a little bit. But more importantly, I want you to understand if you continue to talk to this girl, you're building a friendship with her because you're never taking it to that level where there is any sexual tension in the conversation. And that is a, is a endless road. It's a bottomless pit. It's a black hole straight to the friend zone. And I don't want that for you. So the number one conversational topic that turns on 99% of women is being able to talk about sex like it's no big deal and just as easily being able to change the topic away from sex like it's no big deal. If you can do that, it is a skill like like a muscle. Like the, when you first work out your muscles, you're going to lift some light weights and you're going to feel really sore afterwards. But after a little bit of time, you go to the gym a little bit, you build up that muscle. Now you're not as sore next time. Now you can increase the weight. Same with 
this, all right? So start small, build up, and as you get more comfortable with it, you'll notice that women start to respond to you in very favorable ways. So that said, if you liked this Raw Dating Advice episode, if you liked this video, smash that like button. I sound like every YouTuber right now. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you're on the notification squad. Yeah, do all of that, I love it. Um, I'm releasing these videos, I'm gonna start doing them every Tuesday, and then um, now we have a new video editor on the team so we can start producing more content. So just to get back into the swing of things, we're gonna do every Tuesday, so mark your calendars, and then once we get into the flow of it, we're gonna probably go to two week and then three week, and who knows, maybe one a day at that point, but it's all because I got a trusty, dusty, video, tr handy dandy, trusty, whatever, video editor on the team. So look forward to amazing content coming out soon. Also, I have a brand new podcast. I started on a brand new channel because I want it to be kind of like an extension but a separate channel of this channel as well where I can have deeper conversations with people uh, and interesting guests about topics that yeah we can talk about dating but we can also expand to other topics as well so check that out the link is below this video and that note I will see you in about a week's time and if you have any questions that you want to see answered on a future episode hit me up on Instagram and while you're there, follow me on Instagram. If you ask me a question and you're not following me, you think I'm gonna be likely to even want to answer that question on my YouTube channel? Probably not. So if you have a question you wanna have answered, then hit me up on Instagram. I'm gonna to respond to your comment if I like the question and I will even make a video about it. So that said, I'm gonna get out of here, man. Peace out.